Hi, I'm Trish. Here we are again to do another um, prompt in the um, 12 Days of Fuel hashtag. Um, so I'm combining two of these prompts together. Today's prompt is um, reflect on death and rebirth in any way. And tomorrow's prompt is connecting to the land in winter. So I chose to combine um, the prompts for day six and seven, um, death and rebirth and connecting to the land in winter, just because they kind of go hand in hand right here where I live. What good is the warmth of summer without the cold of winter to give it sweetness? Um, the death and rebirth cycle of life is very evident here where I live. I live in Minnesota. Um, we have all four seasons and they're all very different from each other. The stillness of death in the winter turns into a beautiful rebirth in the spring and then the earth thrives and gives life in the summer and and then slowly gives up that vibrancy in the fall um, when it once again dies to be reborn. Birth and rebirth are always celebrated and it's always joyous. Death is always a time of sorrow but I've seen a lot of death in my life. I have sat with the dying several hundred times throughout my career as a caregiver. And um, death, in my view, should be just as beautiful um, as birth when it's not a tragic death. Um, the death of somebody who has gone through all of the seasons is so beautiful. The life they have lived had meaning and purpose and, you know, they did what they were put on the earth to do, to be born and to live and then to die, to be reborn again. And connecting to the land is much the same. Um, connecting to the land for me is very different in the winter than in the other seasons. Um, I love winter. I love the cold, I love the snow. Um, this is a very odd year, like it's warm and I have no snow. The temperature is going to be in the 50s today and it's December in Minnesota. Um, so it seems strange having to change my game as far as connecting to the land in the winter. Connecting to the land is very different this year, as so many things about this year have been. Um, usually we have 15 inches of snow and bitter cold by now, and we have no snow, and the temperature is probably going to be almost 50 today. Very unusual for Minnesota. And it makes... Um, w working and connecting with the land um, a little different this year. Um, I have I have a personal rule. <laughs> People might think it's crazy, but after Samhain, I do not take anything from the land. I well, any plant material. So you know, right now I've got parsley growing and. I have um, thyme still green in my garden, but I won't use it because, um, you know, the land is struggling, especially now, and I like to leave that as an offering for the land spirits. While you would think it's impossible to connect to the land when it's covered in snow, I find it exhilarating and refreshing. Um, there's magic in that snowfall, and um, there's magic in the air when it's cold and crisp. Um, it heightens all of your senses, like uh, the bone structure of the naked trees 
is something that we really can't see in the summer when they're all alive and covered with leaves. That bone structure is so beautiful. The sound of the birds singing is louder when the air is cold and crisp, and there's something so magical about the silence of winter. Um, at night, when, you, when it snows, you can actually hear the snowflakes fall to the ground. It's so silent, and um, in the sunlight, the snowflakes look like glitter falling from the sky. I find the land so beautiful in the winter when the earth is um, asleep under that blanket of snow. So I know that the colder temperatures are coming and that there will be snow, but I'll just have to wait. Um, I have a rule that after Samhain I take nothing from the land except the water and the snow. Um, I take nothing until Imalk, sometimes even later. I, I have parsley. Look at how green that is. I have parsley and thyme still growing in my garden. And it's the middle of December. I don't expect her to provide during this time because like for myself, it's a time to rest and go inward. He who marvels at the beauty of the world in summer will find equal cause for wonder and admiration in winter.